I'm going to start working on the rudders and uh, I want to get a rather good um, lift on the rudder and I measured out uh, the distance here on 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent of the full length on each of the cords on five centimeters distance going all down all the way down from the waterline to the end of the rudder. To get the lift I want and more volume in the middle with this piece. Of course I need another one on the back side. Let's make a exact same copy. And that together will build uh, 24 centimeter, uh, millimeters. And my highest point here is 25. So there is no need for anything thicker because the laminate will in itself add uh, one or two millimeters. I pre-wet the surface with laminating epoxy. Then I continue with thickened epoxy. And press the two pieces together. this side I had a small piece as well on the highest point. When I'm happy with the fitting I proceed. To be able to see the profile when I'm sending down I pre-cut uh, using a multi-tool to uh, the depth that I want to have in the different areas. When I'm happy with the distance, I start cutting. I proceed with all markings until all are done. Now I can sand down. In this case, the laminate has cured more when, than one week, so here I operate in shorts, although that's not recommended. I use the pre-cut slots to see how deep I should sand. You can see on the plywood layers that uh, the profile is turning out quite good. After the sanding am I happy with the profile, I cover everything with the glass fiber cloth. I cut out the profile of the rudder using a pair of garden scissors. Then I pre-wet the surface using laminating epoxy. I also adjust the sharp edge on the top of the rudder because uh, now I have found out that uh, the water line won't be that low that I th first thought. And uh, I can take care of that with just a little thickened epoxy with uh, micro balloons in.
course I need to do the same on the other side of the rudders. I let the glass fiber edge go a little bit outside the edge of the plywood. Thus I would have a very thin layer in the end of the trailing edge. After everything has cured I can uh, cut the pieces clean. Of course there is sanding to be done after lamination. It turned out to be quite tiresome to work on the floor, so I move upstairs a little bit. To make the housing for the rudders, I need uh, some more plywood. I mark the rudder profile before I cut out the middle pieces. Pieces. I use the rudder as a profile to mark where to cut. Then I cut out the profile of the middle pieces. I use uh, one pair of 10 mm plywood and one pair of 4 mm plywood to build up the middle pieces. In that way I will have uh, 4 mm left as, as a spacer between the rudder and the rudder housing. Finally I'll cut out all the pieces I need for the two housings. The housing also needs to be covered in glass fiber to be strong enough. In this case I use 300 gram glass fiber. Of course there is a lot of epoxy mixing to be done and I mostly use thickened epoxy for this. Each layer I put a piece of glass fiber to get a good bondage between the two pieces. With the leftover epoxy I uh, mix it with uh, micro balloons to get the fairing compound, which I can use to cover any uneven surfaces that I have left on the two rudders. After curing, I can cut away the excess glass fiber laminate.
and prepare for the final uh, lamination. Now, this time I will uh, put the uh, rudder housing together. Once again, I use excess uh, epoxy to cover the rudder profiles. I measure out where I want to drill the hole and then I drill the holes for holding the rudders in place. Make sure to drill the holes in a line through the housing and the rudder blade down to the housing again. I cover one end of the hole with masking tape. Now I fill the hole with thickened epoxy. I cut away the excess epoxy with a knife before it has fully cured. As long as the uh, epoxy hasn't fully cured, the window scrapper is an excellent tool to smooth the surface without too much dust. Now I drill a smaller hole in the bigger hole and this will make the fitting watertight. Try out the uh, housing and the rudder fitting and see that it's possible to raise and lower the rudder. After smearing epoxy on both sides, I make sure that they line up perfectly between the holes. Now I'm done with the rudder. And it's just needed some painting before they can be fitted.